Here we're showing the connection method of directly connecting to the neck of the balloon. We're going to take the cube boom receiver unit. We're going to slide the neck of the balloon through the central hole. Pull on the neck of the balloon, adding some tension between the unit and the balloon. And then wrap it round the connection block. Make sure that that neck is secure. Once the cube boom receiver is attached to the balloon, we're free to test the unit. We can take our one button remote. We can press and hold to wake up the unit. The receiver should flash to say that it's paired and within range. And we can continually test that without the fear of activating the blade and popping the balloon. Okay, balloon connection method two using stretchy balloon tape. So we're going to take a 260Q that we pulled the air out of already. And we're going to lay it um, to the side of the main neck in the area that we want to. We've spaced it quite a distance away from the neck, so it's at um, a more delicate part of the balloon. And we're going to take a piece of stretchy balloon tape from Click Click. We're peeling back half the side, and then we're going to apply that side on first, making sure that it's nice and flat. So let's go on there. Oops, sorry about the focus. And then once that side's attached, making sure it's nice and flat on there, no creases. What we can do is we can hold it down and remove the other side of the backing material. And then make sure that that's nice and flat on there as well. Once we've got a little connection, we're going to stretch it out a little bit. And then we're going to tie this over to make sure that it can't just slide out. Tie double knot. And now we have our solid connection. What we can do is we can bring in our receiver. And we need to make sure that we orientate this in the right way. So we're making sure, well first of all we switch it on to make sure the blade is retracted. So it's not very sharp, it's sticking out. And then we can feed the 260Q, the ends of the 260Q, through the central hole. And then what we need to do is make sure that where the blade is, it's not going to be on the tape. So what we've done is we've put the blade furthest away from the neck, and it's in parallel with the tape. We've pulled up the tension, we're wrapping it around there to make sure that it's a secure connection with that 260Q. And we're making sure there that it's in parallel with where the tape is. Where the connection point is, directly underneath that connection point is where the blade sits on the Q-boom. So we can make sure that they're in parallel and make sure that the blade is well away from the tape. And there we go, it's ready to go. So we're going to turn on our one button remote by pressing and holding it. Once it goes green, the lights will flash and we can test it to make sure everything's fine. So in this connection method, we're going to attach the Q-Boom receiver using a raisin twist. So to make it easy for us to show, we're going to do a raisin twist in a 11 inch balloon, but it's the same technique that we would use for a three foot balloon. Firstly, we take a 260Q and add multiple knots in it to create the raisin. Once we've created this, we're going to trim off the excess balloon. Then we're going to take a 260Q and stretch out all the air and tie the end off. Take our raisin, insert it into our balloon, 
Now we can inflate our balloon. Once the balloon's inflated, we can shake the balloon to hear the raisin rattle on the inside to make sure that it's free. Tie the balloon off to secure it. Locate on the balloon where we want our raisin connection. Rotate the balloon around to allow us to take a hold of the raisin from the outside of the balloon. Twist the balloon and then we take our 260Q and wrap it underneath the twist. Tie the two ends of the 260Q together to secure. And this traps the raisin in the skin of the balloon, giving us a very secure connection. Here's a raisin twist that we've added onto a three foot balloon. You can see that it's offset away from the neck. Turning on the Q-Boom receiver unit, make sure that the blade is retracted. You can now take that 260Q from the raisin, feed it through the center of the Q-Boom unit, add some tension onto the balloon between the unit, and then wrap around and secure. Secure. We can now take our one button remote, press and hold to wake up the unit, it will go green to say it's awake, so the unit's flashing to say it's paired and ready to go. We are going to cover the most basic form of rigging with the Q-Boom. You need to check your local guidelines, laws and regulations to find out what's required for your area but this is the most basic form. We're gonna take the wire on the end of the Q-Boom, it goes over the bar, and we're gonna wrap it around several times around itself. Once it's been wrapped around like this, it's, it's a very, very secure connection. We can take the Q-Boom, we could pull on that Q-Boom, and it, uh, it's very secure on that bar. If you want to be extra safe, what we can do is we can take 260Q with the air pulled out and what we're going to do is we're going to go over the top of the cable that's been wrapped around itself to make sure that there's no way that that can come off without having that 260 literally has to be cut off the cable to allow it to be released so it's wrapped around a few times and then tied nice and tight I'm just going to trim it off so it's nice and uh, tidy as you can see, see, as we bring it up here, you can see that it's, it's even more secure. Now what you can do is, there are various different connection methods to create a, another safety, but for this case we're going to use a 350Q, and we're going to go through the main loop of the harness, and we're going to go around the bar, and just tie it off, it's loose, but it's tied off in a double, so it means that this is an extra safety. Now you might want to use a, a lightning cable clip for this, or, or another method. Um, like I said, you need to check the local guidelines and laws regulations for your area. Thanks for watching.